Uh, now, this is a chat with um, a fabulously talented uh, actress and entertainment business self-starter. She's quite unstoppable. Huh? I speak from experience on this because Nikki Cobble played Ophelia in a production of Hamlet where I played um, Hamlet's uncle. And I think it's fair to say that we were doing Hamlet in ideal conditions. Would you agree with that, Nikki? Certainly, certainly. Yeah. I mean, Any theater is in ideal conditions. You mm. have written, directed, acted in, and produced a web series. The series is about the connections between humans by, in life's awkward moments. 20 episode full circle chain of connection ensemble piece, which I basically wrote for 30 of my friends to just play with and hang out. There's a number of ways to do it. Now we decided to go with the specific contract we had for new media through the union of sag -Aftra. We deferred pay because we had such a huge cast of 30 people. And so the only way to do it, it would have been about $8,000 to pay everyone. And so thankfully everybody just wanted to play. So we, able, we were able to make it um, something that we could all do deferring our pay, which then meant we had to be on a free platform. As it came out of a desire to work with a lot of talent and friends in my community, and I think you were not here at the time. Where is the moderately overweight British character actor? Come on now, he was necessary, vital to the piece. Maybe season two. And what normally happens for an actor who is also a writer is you say, oh, I want to write the Nikki show and I want it to be all about me and I want to have some friends on. And then I thought, I've never done that well over the years <laughs> because, you know, it, it's unwieldy to try to produce and write and to have somebody come on and direct and make sure that you do all of those roles well. So the best thing to do felt like giving everybody the same piece of pie. So there were essentially 20 leads and 20 supporting, I mean, and 10 supporting characters. And the 20 leads have two back-to-back -back episodes so that it kind of passes like a baton all the way to where we, we start and end in the same place with the same actor. And so my episodes that I act in are 14 and 15, but I had the same slice of pie as everybody else. So it's like a CEO taking a smaller equity position or sharing yes. it. <laughs> yeah. you know, everybody's on a profit share. Mm -hmm. Or, as we used to call it when I was acting in London, on the London Fringe, a profit loss. <laughs> and, <laughs> talking of the financial aspect, mm. you actually raised money? So you start with a bare bones budget of like, how can we beg, borrow and steal to make this happen? Who can come if for, and work for lunch? You know, that kind of stuff. Who has gear and wants to get some practice with it? but you do get what you pay for. So it's certain things like sound and, and the camera, you need to invest in those things and we did. But it was just meant to, to be about these quiet moments in life where you're either with a stranger on an elevator and someone says something weird and the elevator stops. That's not one of our episodes, but it could be in season two. That could be your episode. I mean, now that there are all these platforms and now there's all this content, what does that mean? there's nothing in the way between you and an audience. If you have something that is very specific to your voice, a story that only you can tell, you have the means to tell it. You could tell it with an iPhone and someone will watch it. Whether or not it catches fire is all about whether or not you give yourself the quality of production that it needs to kind of catch on. You know what I mean? Well, the production values in awkwardly are very high. It goes from sweet to silly to absurd and poignant and kind of ends in a really beautiful place of we don't need to be healed or fixed. We just kind of need to surf through the chaos of these odd little moments in life. And if people want to see awkwardly, they go Facebook slash awkwardly series. Mm -hmm. I think even I could manage that. Yes, exactly. <laughs>